professional pilot, you've learned to work with it. But as traffic increases, the see and avoid method of dealing with conflicts in airspace poses an ever-increasing challenge. Now, after years of development, there's a system that detects other transponder-equipped aircraft, predicts their flight paths, gives ample warning of a potential hazard, and suggests a corrective action. This is TCAS-2, the Traffic Alert and Collision Avoidance System. The onboard hardware consists of two antennas. One on top of the fuselage is directional. The other on the underside is omnidirectional. In the cockpit, the transponder control panel now includes controls for TCAS-2. The system also includes a method for presenting visual information. But that method varies according to the configuration of the cockpit in question. In those which had a traditional analog vertical speed indicator, that indicator is replaced with a flat liquid crystal panel. When TCAS-2 activates, the display is added to the vertical speed information. In those cockpits with a primary flight display, PFD, and navigational display, ND, the TCAS-2 information is added to those functions. In either configuration, the TCAS-2 display does not interfere with the primary function of the host instrument. Traffic, traffic. A speaker system provides audible enunciations to reinforce the visuals. Now some details about how the hardware works as a system. It first establishes a three-dimension collision area around your aircraft. The size varies with altitude. It's important to understand that TCAS-2 protects against more than just an encounter with your actual aircraft. Rather, it protects this collision area from penetration by other aircraft. To do this, it scans the surrounding airspace once each second, interrogating for other transponder-equipped aircraft. When it receives a response, it uses the telemetry data in a mathematic formula of range over range rate, commonly called tau, to predict the flight path of the other aircraft. If it determines that aircraft will indeed enter your collision area, the system adds a caution area and a warning area, and then calculates a new size and shape. That's because it looks at the time to a potential penetration of the collision area, not the distance. Therefore, as the geometry and closing speed of the two aircraft changes, so does the protection. The perimeter of the caution area is 40 to 45 seconds from the time TCAS-2 calculates the intruder would penetrate the collision area. The perimeter of the warning area is 20 to 25 seconds away. The five-second variance is caused by other factors the system is also calculating. If the other aircraft continues as predicted, and actually enters the caution area, TCAS-2 designates it as an intruder and issues a traffic advisory, or TA. Traffic, traffic. In addition to the audible announcement, it simultaneously provides a display of information to help you conduct a visual search for the intruder. In a cockpit with a vertical speed indicator on a flat liquid crystal panel, the symbol in the lower center is your aircraft. The scale is six miles ahead, four miles to either side, and two and three-quarter miles to the rear. The surrounding ring is two miles out. The intruder can be shown in several ways. Normally, it's a solid amber dot at the relative bearing and range. Then, only if its transponder is providing mode C or mode S altitude information. The system adds a data tag. Vertical separation between you and the intruder is shown in hundreds of feet. If it's below, the intruder is below you. A plus or a minus symbol confirms this fact. If the tag changes position, the intruder is passing through your altitude. If the other aircraft is climbing or descending at a rate greater than 500 feet per minute, an arrow will appear adjacent to the traffic symbol pointing in the appropriate direction. If the intruder is beyond the scale of the display, but still within 40 to 45 seconds from penetrating your collision area, half of the symbol is placed at the edge of the display, at the proper relative bearing. This would occur for a very high closing speed. Depending on the circumstances, a portion of the data tag may be masked by the edge of the display. 
Another variation occurs if the fuselage of your aircraft temporarily blocks the line of sight from the directional antenna to the intruder, or the directional antenna fails. With either condition, the system cannot determine a relative bearing, so it shows only a modified data tag in the lower central portion of the display. It states the intruder's range, relative altitude, and when appropriate, an arrow to indicate vertical speed in excess of 500 feet per minute. When the antenna's line of sight is restored, the display returns to normal. Traffic, traffic. This traffic advisory is presented only to assist you to conduct a visual search for the intruder. Avoidance maneuvers based solely on information from a traffic advisory are not recommended. If your visual search is not successful, and if the intruder continues to actual entry into the warning area at 20 to 25 seconds prior to your collision area, TCAS 2 issues a resolution advisory. There are two kinds, corrective and preventive. A corrective resolution advisory instructs you to make a specific change in your current vertical rate. A preventive resolution advisory instructs you to avoid certain changes from your current vertical rate. During either type, the symbol for the intruder changes to a solid square, and the color changes to red. Climb, crossing, climb. Climb, crossing, climb. For a corrective advisory, promptly and smoothly initiate a one-quarter G maneuver to position the vertical speed indicator just outside the lighted red prohibited zone and into the green fly to zone. This maneuver can be conducted so that it will be unnoticed by passengers and cabin crew. If you're already performing a vertical maneuver, the instruction can be increase climb, increase climb, reduce climb, Reduce climb. Increase descent. Increase descent. Reduce descent. Reduce descent. The system can analyze very complex traffic situations and may direct that you maneuver to cross the intruder's present altitude, which may at first seem unusual. Thus, the annunciation confirms the intention. Climb, crossing, climb. Climb, crossing, climb. Descend, crossing, descend. Descend, crossing, descend. For a preventive advisory, monitor vertical speed. Monitor vertical speed. Simply keep the indicator out of the red zone. Since the current vertical rate is already acceptable, there is no green fly to zone. Once the potential for the intruder to penetrate the collision area is eliminated, the instrument reverts to its normal function, and the system audibly enunciates. Clear of conflict. Promptly and smoothly return to your assigned flight path. In a cockpit with a primary flight display and navigation display, PFD, ND, the TCAS-2 information is presented on the navigation display if the range is selected to 40 miles or less. If, when TCAS-2 wants to present an advisory, the range is selected to greater than 40 miles, it adds the word TCAS, or traffic, on the normal ND display to alert you to change the range. The maneuver instructions, red prohibited and green fly to zones, are shown on the PFD vertical speed tape. Regardless of how the information is displayed in your cockpit, the system logic and symbols are the same. 
All the time, a resolution advisory is in progress. TCAS-2 monitors the geometry of the encounter and can change the maneuver instruction. Increase climb. Increase climb. Would follow a previous climb advisory to instruct you to increase the rate of climb to 2,500 feet per minute. Increase descent. Increase descent would follow a previous descent advisory to increase the rate of descent to 2,500 feet per minute. Climb, climb now. Would follow a previous descent advisory instructing you to reverse vertical direction. Descend, descend now. Descend, descend now would instruct you to reverse a previous climb advisory. Now observe a typical operation. While cruising at 5,000 feet, TCAS-2 designates an intruder and issues a traffic advisory. Traffic, traffic. The pilot flying observes the display and begins a visual search. The pilot not flying also observes the display and audibly confirms the range, bearing, and altitude of the intruder, then joins the visual search. The search is not successful, and TCAS-2 issues a resolution advisory. Climb. 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 The pilot flying clears the appropriate airspace and promptly alters the vertical speed with a one-quarter G maneuver to move the VSI needle out of the red and into the green fly to zone. The pilot not flying continues the visual search and monitors the intruder's position on the TCAS-2 display. He also verifies that the pilot flying is correctly following the resolution advisory. The maneuver eliminates the potential for an encounter. Clear of conflict. The display reverts to its normal function, and the pilot flying promptly returns the aircraft to the previously assigned flight profile. Now that you're familiar with the basic operation, here are some additional features and some general information. During either a traffic advisory or resolution advisory, TCAS-2 displays the intruder, but also shows additional traffic to increase your situational awareness should you need to maneuver your aircraft. Any aircraft that is within six miles horizontally and within plus or minus 1,200 feet vertically is designated as proximate traffic and is shown along with the intruder as a filled cyan or blue diamond and data tag. Also, if the traffic switch on the control panel is selected to on, additional aircraft within range of the display and plus or minus 2,700 feet vertically is designated as other traffic and is shown as an open cyan or blue diamond and data tag. If the system is tracking multiple aircraft during an encounter, it displays only the intruder and those designated as proximate traffic. At altitudes less than 500 feet AGL, the system does not provide resolution advisories. It can and will provide traffic advisories. You can also use the system to learn what traffic is in the vicinity when there is not a threat of an encounter. Place the traffic switch in the on position, and the display shows all transponder-equipped aircraft within the scale and plus or minus 2,700 feet vertically. Experience to date shows that a resolution advisory occurs only once every 40 to 50 hours of flight. Traffic advisories occur more frequently. The deviations from your intended vertical flight path, which are required to resolve an encounter, are relatively small, typically between 200 and 500 feet. And if an intruder is also equipped with TCAS-2, the systems communicate in order to ensure that avoidance maneuvers are coordinated and complementary. Use of TCAS-2 is governed by the following limitations contained in the approved flight manual. It's approved for use in IMC and VMC. Compliance with a TCAS-2 resolution advisory is required unless the pilot in command determines that doing so would jeopardize the safe operation of the flight. 
maneuvers in the opposite direction to that recommended by a resolution advisory are prohibited. If your system is coordinating with another, an opposite maneuver may cause a decrease in separation. Other points to remember not covered in the AFM include when preparing to follow a resolution advisory, use every available means to clear the airspace into which you're going to maneuver. It's not mandatory that you contact ATC after complying with a resolution advisory. However, if time and workload permit, and if deemed appropriate by the pilot in command, advise the controller that it occurred. Always test the system before takeoff by pressing the push to test button on the transponder panel for two seconds. TCAS test. The computer executes an eight second series of internal checks and visually displays a pass or fail. For normal conditions, select the auto mode prior to takeoff. In auto, the system displays information only when an intruder is detected. Also, select the TARA mode so the system issues both traffic and resolution advisories. However, if you are required to be in close proximity to other aircraft, such as when using closely spaced parallel runways, you may select TA to allow only traffic advisories and inhibit the ability of the system to issue a resolution advisory. Now observe a few more typical situations. Traffic, traffic. TCAS-2 issues a traffic advisory for an intruder at 12 o'clock. The pilot flying begins the visual search, but is unable to locate the other aircraft. Climb, crossing, climb. Climb, crossing, climb. TCAS-2 issues a resolution advisory. The pilot flying clears the airspace and promptly and smoothly begins a 1,500 foot per minute climb. The maneuver puts the intruder safely beneath. Clear of conflict. And another example. Cruising level at 8,000 feet. The system designates an intruder at 2 o'clock, 5 miles and 200 feet above. Descend. 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 The pilot flying promptly and smoothly begins a 1,500 foot per minute descent. But suddenly, the intruder begins a descent. The system issues a new resolution advisory. Climb! Climb now! Climb! Climb now! The pilot flying promptly and smoothly executes a one-half G maneuver to reverse the descent. This new maneuver eliminates the potential for an encounter with the collision area. Monitor vertical speed. Monitor vertical speed. Clear of conflict. Such a reversal will only occur on rare occasions. And finally, while in level flight with the traffic switch selected to on, TCAS-2 issues a traffic advisory. Traffic, traffic. For an intruder at 11 o'clock, 1,200 feet above, but descending faster than 500 feet per minute. Notice how the other traffic is not shown during a traffic advisory unless it too poses a threat. Climb, crossing, climb. Climb, crossing, climb. The pilot flying promptly and smoothly initiates a 1,500 foot per minute climb. Separation begins to increase and the resolution advisory softens. Monitor vertical speed. Monitor vertical speed. The maneuver is successful. Clear of conflict. And the pilot flying returns to previously assigned flight path. Now please review the important points to remember while flying with TCAS-2. Maneuvers based solely on the information displayed during a traffic advisory are not recommended. TCAS-2 tracks all aircraft with operating transponders. However, it provides resolution advisories only for those equipped with an operating mode C or mode S altitude encoding function. Compliance with a resolution advisory is required unless the pilot in command determines that doing so would jeopardize the safe operation of the flight. 
when preparing to follow a resolution advisory. Use every available means to clear the airspace into which you are going to maneuver. Comply with a resolution advisory in a prompt and smooth manner that ensures the safety and comfort of your passengers and cabin crew. A maneuver opposite to that recommended by a resolution advisory is prohibited. Doing so may reduce the separation. When you hear clear of conflict, promptly and smoothly return to your assigned flight path. TCAS-2 is a welcome addition to the aircraft's avionic systems. It complements ATC and the see and avoid strategy. It increases your ability to maintain separation from other traffic and provide a safe and comfortable flight that is clear of conflict.